Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, good night, teacher. Hello, good night. How are you? Good. Happy because it's Thursday. Yes. All right. Hello, good evening. Hello, guys. So here we go. We need to start. And now let's go here. I need you to go to the platform, please, on 3.12, all right? The reading, I walked up Fifth Avenue, okay? So let's go. Vamos a la plataforma, please. Y abrimos 3.12. All right, so ready? ¿Ya la tenemos ahí? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, awesome. All right, so here we go. We have to pay attention to the mission. Ah, good. We have to pay attention to the video. So here we go. You'll develop skills in reading for details. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in reading for details and making inferences. We'll do this by reading an article titled, A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. Okay, what is the name A walk of up. the article? What is the name? Hmm? The name of the article? Oh, well, uh, well, uh, Fifth uh, Avenue. Fifth Avenue. All right, Avenue. good. Fifth Avenue. One. Start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue. Between. Okay, what is the name of the building? Empire. Empire State, right? Okay. In 33rd and 34th Streets. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. Two. Now walk up Fifth Avenue seven blocks to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Streets. This library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there's an outdoor cafe. Okay, what is behind the library? Be Brian Park. Hi, right, good. And at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Three. Walk up 6th Avenue to 49th Street. You're standing in the middle of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street, walk another block, and turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rink there. Four. Right across from Rockefeller Center on Fifth Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Go inside St. Patrick's and leave the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows Many of these windows come from France. Okay, so where can you find the windows? I mean, the on the sun, the windows of the building. From what country? Do you remember? Huh? Which country? Uh, from where did you listen windows let's many see, of these let's listen again uh -huh. these windows come from france france, france. france. Yes. okay good so now in this case let me see here ah uh -huh, good directions yeah but they kind of make good all right, so now let me check here. I think we have, what is the dimension? All right, let me go back. 
Okay, so now in this case, we have to pay attention to detail. So in the first, in the first um, building or place, what can you find in the first one? Let's see here. Or in this one. What can you find there? ¿Cuál es el lugar, guys? Uh -huh. In number one? New York. New York, okay. Pero más específicamente? Eh, el edificio... The Empire State Building. Ah, all right, the Empire State. ¿Cuáles son los... Let me see. ¿Cuáles son las prepositions que podemos encontrar ahí? Solo en la number one. Between, between, ah, all, between, between, uh, uh -huh. what else? Only that, right? <laughs> okay. okay. All right, good. And now, in the number two. Okay, in this one, we are talking about what place? Public library. Ah, in New right. York. The New York Public, Public library. library. All right. right. And in this one, what are the um the the the, the preposition? Uh -huh, that you can find between. The train while up, walk behind. up behind. Let me check. Okay, behind. behind. Uh -huh. And then walk, walk up. Walk. And then what else? Only that? Only that. Only that, right. Okay, good. And now in the next one. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Este, what is start your tour? What is tour? Tour. Como paseo. Ajá. Es como cuando decimos, hagamos el tour de la ruta de las flores, por ejemplo. Ah, el tour mm. es como que fuera un... Es un sinónimo de decir un circuito, por ejemplo. O sea, es, es un recorrido que se hace ya definido. Como decir, la, el tour de la Ruta de las Flores. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right, good. And now, here, in number three, what is the place? ¿Cuál es el lugar del que estamos hablando? Guys? Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller Center. Ah, good. Todo lo que se llama Rockefeller, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. Rockefeller Center, Rockefeller Plaza. Rockefeller Plaza. Uh -huh. And what are the prepositions you can find? To right. right. Let me see. Turn right. And turn left. Turn right on, turn left. Turn left. What else? Walk up at the Walk up. And one more. Nos falta una más. The middle. Yeah, good. In the middle of. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of that in Spanish, by the way? What is that in the middle of? In middle of eh? Middle is this. Middle? In medio. Dentro de. Ah, exactly. <laughs> in this case, cuando digo the middle finger, the middle finger. Uh -huh. Medio. El de, aparte que es el dedo malcriado, right? El de en medio. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, in the next one. In number four. Ah, what is the place? St. Patrick's Cathedral. 
Cathedral. Cathedral. Cathedral. Don't forget. Aquí se lo voy a escribir. Cathedral. Cathedral. Como zapato, cathedral. <laughs> zapato, but in Spanish, right? Okay. And now, what are the prepositions you can find? Across from. Mm, across from. Mm. Go inside. Ah, no, perdón. Um, mm. well, actually, yeah, go inside. También aplica. ¿Qué sería go inside in Spanish? Uh, no. Go inside. ¿Cómo ir adentro? Camina adentro. Ajá, camina adentro. Ajá, en este caso, como es un edificio, right? Es algo grande, entonces puede entrar. Uh -huh. So, go inside. What else? Y afuera, ¿cómo es? Sorry? Afuera, out. Para decir fuera. Out. Go, en out. este caso sería go out. Lo go contrario. Out, go, right? out. Uh -huh. go out. Uh -huh. Well, let me see. Another word that you can find? Check cross. Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. Lo Fifth. que está antes. On. <laughs> exactly. On. On oh. is my preposition. Uh -huh. In la quinta avenida, right? On Fifth Avenue. Mm -hmm. And oh, then mm -hmm. we're missing only one. Una no hace falta, guys. Um, behind, city behind. City behind. Ah, ah, pues no, son dos. <laughs> no me he fijado. Uh -huh, so we're missing another one. Uh -huh. One more. Um, oh, um, from, a cross from, uh -huh. ya está. Another one. In. Yes, good. Todavía ven bien, Ryan. Hasta ahora ya vemos gorros. All right, so good. You did amazing. So now, what I need you to do. I need you to select. Elija cualquiera de los cuatro and you're going to write one sentence using the prepositions. For example, you can say, The New York. The New York. Public Library. Is behind, is behind, let me see, it's between, who's in the house, no, behind the library, okay. Is behind, and al revés, let me check. Bryant, I said it, Bryant Park. Is behind mm -hmm. the New York Public Library. Mm -hmm. Because it says that the doors are for the fourth and the forty-two calle, right? So, Brian Park is behind the New York Public Library. Entonces, usted seleccione ya sea el one, two, ah oh no, one, three or four, y escríbame ahí la oración. Dándome esa dirección, all right? Utilizando la preposición. Ahí tiene en la number one, tiene el Empire State Building. Luego en la number three, you have Rockefeller Center and also Rockefeller Plaza. And in four, you have St. Patrick's Cathedral. So choose one. Okay, and you create your sentence using prepositions. Only one. Y esa me la van a mandar ahí en el en el foro, ¿ok? Se las mando aquí el ejemplo, guys. So you can see it. Y luego, para. Quiero. Hi, everyone. Quiero ver si se las puedo poner. Hi, everyone. Ahí. Y me lo ponen ahí en el foro, ¿ok? So let's go. 
no sé si así lo habían hecho los que, los que ya habían comentado, pero por si no, lo hacemos otra vez, ¿verdad? Right? Con uno diferente. Así practicamos el doble, guys. When Sorry, you finish, miss, just tell me. Where, Sorry, Miss, what is the section? What is the what? Sorry. Section. Ah, and this section. one. Three point. Let me check. Three point twelve. Okay, thank you. Alita se lo manda en chat. Three point twelve. Three point. Cuando terminen, me dicen me, all right? So oh, finish. Three point. Three point, what? En este caso, Nancy, es que no le carga por el internet o, o que le aparece. No sé si es la internet, pero casi no escucho. Se corta. Ah, el Zoom. El Zoom y estoy en el otro en el otro dispositivo tratando de entrar al módulo pero no me deja ok, so finish ya terminamos, ya yeah. no yet no yet <laughs> ok Si necesitan ayuda, chao, me das. I need teacher. Okay, tell me. Uh, is the description one place? Mm -hmm. Using the direction. preposition, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Con la información que tiene acá. In the, for example, this one in number three. One sentence using prepositions. Mm -hmm. For example, here you can use Rockefeller Center and Rockefeller Plaza. Mm -hmm. And in number four, you can use St. Patrick's Cathedral. And then what else? Mm -hmm. Ah, Rockefeller Center. 
And in number one, we have Empire State Building. And then we have, let me see. Ah, we can use another place. I, I mean, como una referencia, right? New York. Mm -hmm. Okay. going to give you an idea. Le voy a dar una idea de cómo iniciarlo, right? And number one, you can start saying the Empire State Building. Is in the front team. Then in number two, Rockefeller Center is Rockefeller Plaza. Number four, you can say. Sorry. Patrick's Patrick's is in the same Rockefeller Center. And the prepositions. All right, so what, what is the preposition for number one? If we have it here in New York. No? What is the preposition for the number one? Guys? Between. All right. Between New York and the New York? Um. Mm -hmm. Cuando digo between, remember, es porque tengo um, dos cosas, right? And in this case, um, digo, el edificio del Empire State is, y luego, between. Entre, entre Nueva York, La iglesia de San Patricio y la plaza Rockefeller. Ah, all right. But in this case, uh, si lo relacionamos a New York, ¿cuál sería la preposición? Between 33 and 34th Street. Ah, ok. Pero en este caso, de la ciudad de Nueva York. Mm. Ah, Y digo el edificio y luego tengo la ciudad de Nueva York. Entonces, ¿cuál preposición es? No. ¿Mm? Si lo digo en español, ¿cómo sería? In. Ah, all right. So, in English. Oh. In. In. <laughs> all right. Oh. We can say, ajá. Uh -huh. The Empire State Building is mm -hmm. oh, uh, on New York City. City. Exactly. New York City. Exactly. And now, in number two. In number two. In number three. Um, in number three, we have uh, Rockefeller Center is Rockefeller Plaza. Place. 
Ah, is. Is place Rockefeller Center Rockefeller? Okay, let me see. Rockefeller Center is. Is in New York. Ajá, pero en este caso tengo a Rockefeller Plaza. ¿Cuál sería okay. la preposición? Possibit. Oh. Okay. Hay que leer el, el texto, right? Dice, um, walk up 6th Avenue to 49th Street. You're standing in the middle of 19 buildings, but buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street, walk another block, and turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. Yeah. So, um, what could we um, use? Uh, Midler? Rockefeller Midler. Um, Ok, si traducimos esto, si, si traducimos esto, como diría, turn right on. Ajá. Doblar a la derecha, ¿eh? Ajá, 49th Street, en la calle 49. Ay, 49. Walk. Walk Caminar. another block. En la eh. siguiente cuadra. Ajá, and turn left. Y doblar a la izquierda. Uh, you are in Rockefeller Plaza. Plaza. Ah, entonces, ¿cuál preposición podemos utilizar? Si sí, sí, sí tenemos Rockefeller Center y luego tenemos Rockefeller Plaza. Ajá. Ah, sí digo, Rockefeller Center no está dentro de Rockefeller Plaza. Is near. No. Ah, good. Is near Rockefeller Plaza. Porque dice, solo caminas otro bloque y, y gira la derecha y luego la izquierda, right? Right. Entonces está cerca, right? You can walk. Good. And now in number four. Ah, tenemos... Yes, tell me. What is the difference between the preposition in and huh? home? Ah, all right. In se utiliza más cuando se habla de estar dentro de. Como por ejemplo la... Si se recuerdan una imagen que teníamos de ejemplo, que era una cajita y tenemos una pelota, entonces la pelota está dentro de la caja. Ese es in. Y cuando uso on, es sobre. cuando está Ajá, sobre. Siempre mm. en la traducción, siempre se traduce como en, pero significa que está sobre, no entra, ¿verdad? Right? Esa, esa es la diferencia. Uh -huh. Entonces podría decir... Plaza Rockefeller in, eh, in, in Manhattan. In, sorry? In, in, the, in, in Man, Manhattan. Ah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. De todo lo que es Manhattan. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. de... Usted se quiere, y si se quiere referir que está dentro de, right? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ya, yeah, good. Y ahora, ya, yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Y ahora sí tenemos St. Patrick's Cathedral. Y tenemos Rockefeller Center. St. Patrick's Cathedral is across from Rockefeller Center. Exactly. It's across from Rockefeller Center. Good job. Solo hay que buscar... Esos detalles chiquitos, right? All right, good. Let me send it here in the chat. All right. Vamos a ver aquí. Solo son acomodamientos, vos va a ser otro. Sí. <ríe> What a heart. The microphone. 
Let me check here. Let's see. Right, it's on. Uh -huh. Good. It's well. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. It sorry. happens. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> Don't worry. It's across from Rockefeller's office. All right, good. So now, guys, let's go here to next. Ya vamos a seguir practicando prepositions and directions. So don't worry. But first, we are going to do the practice of the midterm. Creería que ya la mayoría terminaron, right? Pero para los que aún no terminan, here we go. Okay. So now, please pay attention to the listening. And here we go. The first one is about. Mark is going to be, and we have 13 years old, 30 years old, 33 years old. 33 so years old. Pay attention. One. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Okay. So what is the answer? 30? 33. You're so? 33? You're so. Are you sure? <laughs> uh-huh. What is the number, guys? Ah, he's a teenager. So in that case, 30 is a teenager. Aunque no. nos sintamos no como adolescentes, right? A <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> okay. So how do you say 13 in English? 13 years old. 13 years old. 13 years old. All right. <laughs> 13 years old. Repeat with me. 13. 13. 13 years old. 13. All right. Don't forget the teen. Siempre hacemos como el sonido de calcetín. So don't, don't forget about that. So 13 years old. And now, in number two, we have, they are going to have a party on... And we have Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Saturday. Let's go. Two. So what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. Oh, Three. interesting. So, what is the answer? They are going to have the party on Saturday. Okay, Saturday. And then we have, they are going to at the party dance, sing songs, or watch television. Let's go. Sing song. What party are you going to have? Oh, well, we're going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD, and the words are on television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. Okay, so what is the answer? Sing song. Sing song. Sing song. Because of the karaoke, right? Okay. So he on sent... De los que están acá, ¿ya la habían terminado? Yes, ¿no? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Awesome. So we hit What's on that? next, and we go here. Oh. This one. So we have much the questions with the answers. So, relaciona la pregunta con respuesta, right? In this case, we have, are we going to work this weekend? Vamos a trabajar este fin de semana. Mm -hmm. Letter C, no, no we're no, 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 going to relax. relax. Ah, sí, sí. Mm, all right. And why? Why is why is this the correct answer? No, no, no trabajar. 
Let it see. Ajá, ¿por qué? Because I, I talk the we. Ah, we are talking about we, right? Yeah. Y por ese we, aquí tenemos la relación en la respuesta. Good. So now in number two, we have, are they going to cook dinner? Yes, they are. Uh -huh. Yes, I am. No, it is not. No, we are yes, not. They, yes, they are. They, they are going to make pasta. Okay. Ah, okay. ¿Por qué no puede ser la letter F? Porque no tiene que ver, tiene que ver con comida. <laughs> exactly. No con la fiesta, right? right. Okay, good. Now, in number go. three, we have, are you going to exercise this, this evening? evening? Yes, Are I am. I'm going, going to go swimming. Mm, okay. Yeah. So, ¿por qué es yes, yes I, I am? am? I am going to go swimming. ¿Por qué preguntas sobre? Swimming is exercise. Exercise. Uh -huh. Because uh -huh. swimming is exercise. Y aparte de eso, ¿por qué preguntan por? I am. You, right? Entonces tiene que responder I. Okay. Now, in number four, is Bill going to do anything after work? No, they aren't. They, they are going to have a party. Okay, we have, is Bill. Bill. Yeah. Si paso a Bill como preposition. Uh, yes, he is. He is. He is. He's going to He's visit, going to visit party. his party. Ah, all right, good. Aquí hay un error de ortografía, right? Porque Bill debería de ir con mayúscula, pero ajá, uh -huh. es un nombre. Ok, well, so I yes, he is. It's right. a name. Es el nombre Bill. Ajá, por eso aquí está, ten, debería de estar con mayúscula. Mm -hmm. All right, so now, answer. un detallito, right? Para ver si nos fijamos. <laughs> And then, in number five, our Pam. Igual aquí, Pam es el nombre de probablemente una, una, una mujer, right? Pam. Y está en minúscula, debería estar en mayúscula. So, are Pam and Andrew going to have a picnic this weekend? No, they are going to have they, a party. going to have a party. Ah, good. ¿Por qué no puede ser the letter D? Porque están hablando de dos personas. Date, no uh -huh. eat. Uh -huh. Sería they, right? Hey, ellos Pero porque como están hablando de hacer un picnic, no de cocinar. Ah, all right, good. And then we have letter six. Letter number six. Is it going to rain tomorrow? No, oh, it's, it's not, not, going, it's not going, it's going, to going to be cloudy. Ah, it's going to be cloudy. Solo va a estar? What is cloudy? Nublado. Ah, yeah. All right, good. Siendo adivinos, right? Okay, so now, let me see. Me falta una. Ah, yeah, ah. this one. No la marqué. Si la, si la hicimos, yes. Sí, sí, Are you sí. going to exercise? Ah, sí, yo no la marqué. Yes, I am. Right. Going, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Okay, so we hit on send. Awesome. You did it. Awesome. And now the WH questions to complete conversations. So we have, in this case, the question in A and then in B. Next summer, we're going to go to Alaska. Going... So Where what you... is the answer? We're going to go. Where to... are you going to go? All right. Next summer. Okay, good. ¿Y qué, cuál fue la pista aquí? Para saber qué era where. Where. Siguiente where? verano. Ah, ¿Dónde right. irá su siguiente verano? Okay, awesome. And now, in this one, Alaska, wow. We're going yeah. to take a boat. Mm -hmm. What is the answer? How are you going to get your no. Ah, how? How are? Ah, how are you going to get there? How are there? you going to get there? Get, get there. How get are you going to get? How are there? you going to get 
there. En ese caso, the el two. TH es como una yeah. D. There. there. Mm -hmm. How are you going to get there? How are you going there? to get there? there? What is that in Spanish? Good How day. are you going to get there? How are you going to get there? Mm -hmm. What is that? ¿Dónde? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo irás? Ah, ¿cómo irás a? En este caso, Alaska. Alaska, Alaska. Right? Uh -huh. How are you going to get there? And then it says we're going to take a what? boat. We're going to take a boat. 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 Uh -huh. All right, good. And then that sounds so exciting. I'm going to go with my family. Who are you going to go with? Ah, good. Who? Y aquí, ¿cuál es la pista? Con who? With my family. Exactly. And then we have great. We're going to go on June 21st. When you... When are you, when going, are you going to go? Going okay. To go. All right, awesome. Hit on send. Ya como la mayoría lo había terminado, right? And then this one. Okay, complete the conversation, select the correct word. And we have the first one, the conversation, letter A. A headache? I have a headache. I? How do you get or have? I have. I have. I have. Uh -huh. I have and a then, headache. Letter B, these pills. These pills. pills. Take. Take. Uh -huh. Take. Take. All right. Se imaginan que, que fueran masticadas todas las pastillas, right? Terrible. Yeah. All right. And then in number two, we have the matter. What's, What's the, the matter? matter? What's the matter? I don't feel yeah. I have a stomachache. Well, I don't feel well. Uh, I well. don't feel well. I yeah. have a stomach yeah. ache. Yeah. And then, number three, do you feel today? How, How do you feel oh. today? Good. How, How do you today? feel? Como te sientes Not today? so good. I sore oh, eyes. I? I have so, so I have sore eyes. eyes. Good. I feel. When I was, uh -huh. I feel, siento ojos rojos. No. Ajá. Tengo, right? Ajá. Hay que buscarle ahí la, la, la tricky, right? Okay, and then this one. I have a backache. A backache. Uh, back uh, don't. Don't. Exercise. 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 And then, and this medication. This medication and have mm -hmm. use of gifts. Use. 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 This use medication. A, not medicine. All right, let's check. Awesome. 20. All right, now we go to the next one. No hay nadie que lo está haciendo por, por primera vez ahorita, no? No. Ya todos no. lo hicieron? Awesome. Yes. Cool. All right, now the next one. Okay, read the no article. Hecho, Sorry? Ya no lo había hecho. Ah, really? Okay. Yes. Pero ahorita sí ya va ahí, ¿verdad? Yes. Teacher, yo los había hecho, pero ahora la plataforma, por lo menos en el YouTube, en los videos, no me aparece como que me está dando error. Pero creo ah, que ya están sí. registrados. Ah, okay. Sí, igual, si le mando, ya lo termino todo, ¿no? Sí. Ah, ok. ¿Y ya le mandaron su nombre? en el Porque están mandando yeah. el ranking. Ya. Yes. Yes. Ah, ok. So, ya. Yeah. Todo bien. Ok. Right, good. Yes. Where can you? Ok, so now this one. Home what? remedies. What is that in Spanish? Home remedies. Huh? What is it? Home remedies. remedies. Exactly. So now we have. For example, for a cold. What is a cold? That is in Spanish. A cold? Frío. When you're like a chill. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then a cough. Uh-huh. A cough. Cough. Uh -huh. Cough. Como que fuera con F, right? Cough. Cough. 
<laughs> and then headache. Cabeza. 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 Dolor de cabeza. And then insomnia. Insomnia. Ah, like that, right? Como se escucha. Insomnia. Insom es la novia del insomnia. <laughs> Para recordarles que es super bien. <laughs> All right. So now in this case, for a cold, for a cold, uh -huh, you oh, can cold. drink warm tea or take some honey. Las remedios de la abuela, right? And then some put a cold cloth in your head. Some, some people uh -huh, some uh, hot, hot soup. chicken soup. Ah, chicken soup. 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 Yes. Si yo digo soup. soap, es el jabón, es perdón. Extraña, ¿eh? <ríe> no es lo mismo chicken soup que chicken soup, right? <ríe> es, que, right. es que es un poco espumosa la sopa. <ríe> ah, yeah, no point. Y le limpia, right? Por dentro. <ríe> ok. And now, we have the next one. Number two. For a cough. <ríe> For a cough. You can drink warm tea, put a cold cloth. Some oh, people eat you hot can chicken soup. Warm tea. Dinner, dinner lunch. Okay, oh. for a cough. Uh huh. Drink. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. Drink. No, you can oh. drink. You can drink warm tea. Warm tea. tea. Uh, uh, warm tea. Or take some honey. Or take some some honey. 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 Mm -hmm. honey. Honey, yes. Honey. Honey. And then in number three, for a headache. Uh -huh. For a headache. Um, what can we do? Cold, 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 uh, cold, cold, cloth. Cold, 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 cloth. Ah, cold, cloth. cold, cold, cloth. What is that in Spanish? Cold, cloth. Un trapo. Trapo frío. Puede repetirla. Puede repetirla, por favor. Me. Which one? Which one? Eh, la respuesta del tres. Please. The number three? Let me see. Ah, no, ahí estamos. Ajá. And headache? ¿Cuál es la respuesta del headache? The uh, let's see. For uh -huh. a cold. Yes. Uh, which one? Put a cold cloth on Put your head. Put a cold cloth uh, on, your your, on your head. On your head. On your head. All right, good. And then in number four. For Not insomnia. Let's drink an insomnia. Drink. Drink. drink a large. A large. Oh. large oh. gram milk. Uh -huh. Or. Un vaso grande de, de leche de, de, leche. de vaca. <laughs> de leche de granja. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. And then. Or drink take a very. Cowboy. Warm. Bath. Un baño. Hot. Un baño caliente, right? Pero en nuestro clima no aplica, what I is, think. What? What is warm? Wow. Well, This word? Warm? Warm. Uh -huh. Ah, warm sería como caliente, pero como no, no caliente de hirviendo. ¿Cómo sería? Tibia. Eso? Como tibia. Ah, ya, yeah. como tibia. Uh -huh. Warm milk. Uh -huh. So like that, warm milk. Yo creo que es las películas, right? No creo que funcione. Alguien de aquí que confirme que funciona de warm milk. <risa> es que solo en las películas, ¿verdad? Right? Es then, que yo creo que más que todo es como el mental. mal del puerco. <risa> okay, que después de comerte da sueñito, quizás por ahí. Ah, all right. <risa> para, para activar que acaba de comer y que le da sueño. You're, you're well funny. <risa> all right. And then, in this case... For insomnia, which is the answer? A large glass. Yes. Uh -huh. Of warm milk. All right. So now let's hit on sand and good. Uh, ¿Quiénes lo estaban haciendo? ¿Vamos bien? Yes. 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 Awesome. Now, sí. the, the last part, I think. Look at the next patient. Ah, no, that is that was the last one. Okay. All right. So, questions about this one? ¿Alguna duda que les haya quedado con esas respuestas, guys, de la, del midterm? No. No? Oh, good. Okay. So, now we go here to the next activity. Porque hay que seguir practicando directions, right? And today, we're going to do it with this one here. Vamos a ver si todavía nos acordamos. So, in this case, all right, 
we already have the places, just and I. Oh. And now, let's see. Los anuncios, right? So oh, now, yeah. el punto rojo, guys, is going to be the place where you are at. So, you usted está, right? Y, por ejemplo, en este caso, vamos a ponerlo acá, en la school. Ahí está usted, en la school. So, vamos a ver a dónde tenemos que ir. So, we have post office. Huh? So, go to the post office. ¿Cómo llegamos al post office si estamos en la school? Hmm? Where is post office? Uh, where is the post office? Well, up Good question. It's here. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So, yes, walk. Walk All right. up. Mostly, okay. to the right. Go to the right. In from or where? In Park Avenue. Ah, go to the right. In Turn the right. right. In Park right. Avenue. In Park Avenue. And then. Walk down. I walk down. Little Street. Little Street. Um, go to the left. Left in front of the hospital. Ah, good. In yes. Front of the hospital. Good. It's hot. All huh? right. Hospital. Awesome. And now let's go here to the next one. Vamos a ver. Ahora nos vamos a mover. And we're going to be at the airport. Airport. Vamos a ver. Go to the library. Library. How can I get to the library? If I'm at the airport. Oh, this is library. Library? The library is here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to like this. Well down a station road. Walk? Well down? Uh-huh. What if we are here? Si estamos aquí, si salimos de aquí. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Walk uh up. -huh. Walk up. Uh-huh. Walk up little uh -huh. street. Walk. Ah, to a station road, and then in the right. Okay, in the right. Oh, oh, turn, turn, turn right. Turn, oh, turn right oh, oh, on. Oh, what is the oh. name of the street? Well, of oh, the road. Uh -huh. the station, right on? Is... station road. Uh huh. And then oh. the it's library. So ah, yeah, in front of the. Next to, next to, I don't know what is that. <laughs> I'm not sure. What is this? This area is a building. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know what is it. Okay, good. And now let's go to the next part. And we go here in the stadium. Stadium. All right. We are at the stadium, so we have to go to the school. Let's to the school. Oh, yeah. How can I get to the school if I'm here? If I'm here at the stadium. How can I get to the school? Welcome. Welcome. Park Avenue. In Park Avenue. Park Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh -huh. My street. Turn left, turn left, turn in Main Street, uh -huh. on, on Main Street, uh -huh. Main Street, uh -huh. Main Street, uh -huh. Main Street. Uh -huh. the school is next to cinema, the school is from cinema, the school is next to cinema, ah, next to the cinema, the cinema, good. all yeah. right, good. All right, now let's go to the next one. We are at the circus now. Viendo la función, right? Let's go here. The bus stop. Ah, bus station. How can I get to the bus stop? What is this bus stop? La parada de bus. Yes. Is here. All right. Uh -huh. How can I get to the bus stop? Turn, turn. When I'm here. Uh-huh. Welcome. Okay. Welcome to left. Where? 
of no 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 the station road ah okay walk up on lo primero que mencionamos es dónde dónde walk en up este caso park, es park avenue, avenue. Uh -huh. walk up and park then, avenue turn turn right on uh -huh. station uh -huh. road ah okay and the bus station is across from the stadium Good stadium. 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 Yeah. stadium. All right, good. All right. So you have to mention the streets all the time. Los las avenidas y todo, right? Porque si no se van hasta el final. Y vamos a perder a, a la people, right? Okay. Now let's go here. <laughs> we are here at the police station. <laughs> so let's check. We have to go to the school. Demasiado fácil, right? Okay, so now, if we are here at the police station, how can I get to the school? Uh, Go to the left. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Go to the left. On Welcome. where? Walk up on on water street on water street. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is Ah, little street. Uh -huh. And then walk up next to the office, right? Next to the right. The <laughs> what is that? Next to the it's across, it's across from cinema. No. It's across from? Uh, no. It's no, no, cinema. no, no. It's uh -huh. behind. It's behind? Behind. Behind is like this. Behind is like Next this. to, it's next to cinema. Uh, next to, right? Okay. Right. Sorry. Right, good. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. Now. Am I crazy? Check this one. All right, we are at the park. Okay, let's see. Now go to the police station. How can I get police there? Station. How can I get to the police uh, station? The park in front. In uh -huh. the... We are here. We are here. So now? Restaurant. Uh, How we are at the park and we have to go to, to the right, police station. To right. In front. To the left. Turn left. To Park left Avenue. Street and ah, Park okay. Avenue. Park Avenue. Well ah, down. To Park Avenue. Well, well down, down Little Street. Ah, okay. To turn left. To okay. down Little Street. Little Street. Okay. Police station is across from. Near, no, between um, fire Fires and post office. Uh -huh. The office. fire station and the post office. Okay, okay. and we can el also say. Y en el caso del hospital, ¿cómo sería? Um, near? No. Uh, mm. Yeah, we uh, can say near. Near opposite um, the station po police. Ah, okay. But in this case, the hospital, right? Okay. It's the, right. in the opposite direction. Uh, okay, good. Perdido. And let me see. The last one. <laughs> and the perdido. Pero ya se va en contra, yes. So don't worry. You are at the me. Yes, tell me. Can, can I use uh, go straight? Ah, yeah. Go straight. Vaya recto. Hmm? Or, or... Yeah. Or can I use in front of? Uh -huh, in front of it, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So okay. now, <laughs> if you are in the zoo and you have to go to the bank, uh -huh, how can you get there? At least the bank. So, how can you get there? If we are here. At the walk zoo? up, what is walk up uh, Water mm -hmm. Street and then uh -huh. turn left Main Street. Go oh, to right. To right, excuse me. Uh huh. And, and the bank is um, next to um, Let's see that. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cafeteria. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> we can say cafeteria, cafeteria. coffee yeah. shop. Uh -huh. All right, good. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Esto es de seguir practicando, right? Y si no, siempre nos sirve el ways, que eso es lo bueno. <laughs> so, now, <laughs> yeah. el tiempo se nos acabó, guys. So, see you guys tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Bye, trabajen en la plataforma, ok. Bye, see you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening.